classify.com and we are continuing our lecture so when you go to your web browser address bar and type in localhost you're gonna see this so when you see this just go open php my admin so that we'll see our database like i told you this is how you access your database that you've already created before even when you want to create a new one that's how you go about it by typing localhost here then it will open up your one server that you've earlier installed like i told you i've already done the installation of this in one one of the uh video lectures that is in the series so you better get to our tclassify.com check out the playlist that are there so that you follow the lectures serially so that you'll be able to understand it much more better so when you open up this you're gonna see where we have our our Austin DB so that we can now learn how to connect it using this PHP code so we're gonna save this PHP code like I told you this Austin DB and that's why the database name here this is the connection for the database you see MySQL connect when you want to do connection you're connecting to localhost because you're using localhost here root is the name of the uh, user this is general for most of the warm server password we are not using any password database name Austin DB because we are having Austin DB here so I've already done this my serial lecture for my SQL 001 check it through that's where you see where I did the I showed how to create this website I mean this database so quickly I'm gonna save this like I said before we are gonna be now saving into the one server directory so quickly I get to uh, my C so that I'll be able to put it inside the one server directory so this C this computer then this C I need to get to one okay, this one this WW and uh, this Austin web so this is where I'm gonna save it and I'm going to make sure that I save it with PHP so I'm gonna save it I'm gonna say insert db that's the name dot php I'm saving it with inside db dot php select all files make sure you do that save so I've saved this now so I'm gonna start working on this to make it possible for it to be able to connect quite easily so let me open the form this is the form we are having and this is the PHP code that is doing the connection so having done this the next place I'm going to get this is just the normal code I'm going to get to this slide and say insert into table nick that table so this is now the table 